Hi guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here, our Youth Academy Challenge as Ajax. We're going to be taking on Dynamo Kiev just now in the Champions League Best Placed Playoff Qualifier Leg 1. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there you go. So we're going to be looking to get to the group stage, of course, of the Champions League, and Dynamo Kiev will be a rather large obstacle, actually, in our quest to do that. Uh, Eros Madi will be coming off the bench for this one. Our team, I think, is pretty much going to stay the same. I think we'll be going with... Well, we'll be removing Nunnally because he's not been great. Um, yeah, we'll put Gio De La Vega back in. So we'll go Roy Grock, Veltman, Delight, Kemper, Bitboard, Savastano, Akelenkamp, Van der Beek, De La Vega, Sirhaus and Clivert. That's what we'll go with today. Mm, they've got some good teams but no real standouts. Derlis Gonzalez isn't bad. Uh, João Pedro there. Also not bad. I think... I don't, I don't want to predict it because we're very temperamental, shall we say, with how we play. But if we play well, I think we can do it. Let's let's encourage them. A very sparsely populated crowd today. Shame on Dynamo Kiev for that. Oh, by the way, I don't think that would ever happen in real life. I think the stadium would be packed for a playoff against Ajax and a chance to get to the Champions League proper. In terms of what we're seeing here in the game, shame on them. As Feyenoord go one up against Legia Warsaw, that's good. It'd be nice to at least have two Dutch teams in the Champions League proper. Well done, but board cutting that out. But Antunes will play it forward. Derlis Gonzalez now hits the byline, whips it in! And Artem Brzeden has scored. Is he any good? Yeah, he is pretty good actually. 22 year old Ukrainian striker. Right, well, at least to demand more out of them. 1 0 is not the end of the world, but we need to get something of our own. Van der Beek's cross, that's a terrible cross. Backboard bails him out though. Clivert now. Veltman. Backboard, good ball. The Kaelin camp. Van der Beek, great ball through. So your house is in and scores. Well done. Lovely, lovely finish. Looked offside to be fair, but it counts. It's a goal. Lovely ball from Donny and a great finish. Van der Beek to Killen Camp, De La Vega giving away. Hitcheridi over the top. Jal Pedro's in with a wee half chance, but it is well wide. We've scored with our only shot. Well, now we've had a second, but our only shot on target we scored. Maggio, Shiplev, Sigankov, I would say for him. Garmash, it's a good ball. Jal Pedro, here they come. Garmash is not going to get that back board now. Go long. Ah, he should have went long over the top there. Somebody must have been making a run. Veltman in back board. Looks forward. There you go. Long over the top this time. De La Vega. Sir House for a brace. Ah, it's an easy save for Boyko in the end. Sir House now for a brace on the free kick. Way over the bar. But we're giving as good as we're getting here. Boyko knocking it long for Kiev. Jal Pedro won't win the header, but Garmash can nod it down to Gonzalez. Garmash, Antunes is away on the overlap. He gets it. Veltman pushes out. Oh, it's a good header away by Kemper, but it's back in. Jal Pedro, good save, Roy Grock there. Whew. I wouldn't mind half time now, to be fair, at one apiece. Looks like we may get half time at one apiece as well. Not bad at all. I'd take a draw back to Amsterdam in a heartbeat. Yep, please with the things are going, boys. Keep it up. Savistano is actually going to come off for Van Gelderen, and we're going to put Boy Kemper out there as a left wing back. Uh, Gio de la Vega has been quite poor. I'm going to bring on. I'm going to bring on Gino Decker. I'm going to put him to the left. I'm going to put Cliver on the right. De Decker does play attacking mid-left, so I think we're going to be able to train him to be the left side of that three-pronged attack up top. Kind of as we have, if you're watching our Rangers series, what we've done with uh, Walter Molina down the left of that three-pronged attack. I'm thinking the same thing. Boy, Kemper's been atrocious, actually. He's got a 6.0, and we're playing him as one of our most important roles just now at the left wing-back. I hope we can develop some proper wing-backs as we move forward with our youth academy. 
Veltman, Delight, Van Der Beek. We're doing very well actually to sucker them in when they're pressing. Cliver, it's your house. It's a good run. Gino Decker, finish it, son. Oh, he's at the post. That was a three pronged attack's fluidity at its finest there, but he's just lacking the finish. Clivert to Van der Beek, good pass, Sir House, there goes Clivert, great ball to him, can he find Decker for another chance? He does, oh, in the defence, they're all sitting watching it as Clivert's ball rolls right across to Decker, and it's 2-1 to Ajax. Great attack and play from the front three. Can we grab a third even? Veltman van de Beek who's been given far too much space today but does give it away to Douglas this time Gonzalez now as Kiev search for the equaliser Kravitz Garmash plays it wide for Gonzalez can we possibly nick it go on backboard get into them Antunes puts it in it's nodded down Shoof, and Shepalev Volodymyr Shepalev with a hell of a hit there for two apiece been some game this if nothing else just tell him to concentrate for the last 15 now Pfft, keepers picked up a knock not great um, who do we bring on we'll bring on Carl Eating for Jürgen the Kellenkamp Kemper's had a howler of a game there 5.7 but it will happen to the young boys it really will to a piece you gave me this before the game I would have taken it as we have five under on minutes now, just get through this and get the two each and get the hell out of here. Rui Grock, Delight, come on, whistle ref. Played over half a minute extra. Van Gelderen, going literally nowhere. Kemper now, we're just standing with the ball and he's still no blowing the whistle. There it comes. Yeah, I'm going to passionately tell them we've done we've done well to avoid defeat there, proving a lot of people wrong. That puts us in a good position, shall we say, for the, the return leg. Any kind of victory, of course, puts us through. 0-0 draw puts us through. 1-1 draw puts us through. As long as we can concede fewer than two goals, then I fancy us to go through. We could obviously beat us 1 0 and put us out, but I can't see us not scoring on our own patch. But now, massive league game. We're sitting in 11th place, by the way, in the league. Uh, and Alkmaar are sitting top, and we're away to them at the moment. So, this is going to be a huge game. Of course, we had a good, great away result there, but. I'm just really unsure about this game. This feels, this feels iffy. Kind of like the Here and Veen game did, and we got, we got battered there. All right. Fine odds game up first here. Are the champions going to manage to get another victory? Zvoli beat. Her Heracles, yep, Heracles. Uh, Feyenoord and Vitesi. Vitesi, who've had a terrible start to the season, sitting down in 16th. Now they're away to the champions. It's not exactly where you want to be getting yourself back on track. And they do indeed lose 3 1. Go ahead, Eagles also lose 3 1 to 20. 20 move up top there. Um, joint on points with Alkmaar, one behind Roda. We slip down to 13th, but if we win, we jump right the way up there above Flex of Feyenoord. Nobody really leading the way early on in the league here, unless Alkmaar beat us, of course, then they'll move to three victories out of three. But Feyenoord have dropped points in two games, 20 have lost already. PSV have a loss and a draw. We have a loss and a win. You know, it's very open to start the season. Groningen versus NEC and Groningen win. Alkmaar versus Ajax. Here we go. Here we go. Now let's Gino Decker up here for De La Vega. Decker will go into the left hand side. Apparently one and a half silver stars, but that's just nonsense, of course. Uh, Onana doesn't get to be on the bench because he's not a tried and true Ajax bred player. And we're back into the game with the only change being Gino Decker coming on and Clivert moving to the right. So a big, big game here. Uh, we're underdogs and it suits us go cause an upset. You're going to Kalen Camp liking that one. 
Right, let's encourage them like we did in Ukraine. Good challenge backboard to get us going. Van der Beek now, chance to whip it in. Header away. We don't pick her up. Veghorst now coming forward on the break. Come on, we've got a lot of blue shots back here, but we've been ripped open. Garcia, good save by the keeper. And that was a lightning quick break by Alkmaar there. Oof, and then they've hit the bar. Jesus. Almost happened too quickly for me to follow that there. And we've got away with some early threats here from Alkmaar. We'll move up to seven points with the current result. I'm going to demand more here because we're getting a bit of a slapping early on. We will move to 1-1-1 one, one and one if we get a draw here. And a draw here wouldn't be that bad, actually. It'd be a decent away point. Cliver to Van der Beek. Shot deflect. Backboard. Cliver in the box. Back to Van der Beek. Beats his man. Shoots. Oh, it just sneaks wide. Thought it was going to nestle in that bottom corner for a wee second there. Garcia puts it in low. Well taken by Roy Grock. He's got the option to bowl it out now. Does. Kemper. Looking for a better game than he had in Ukraine. Good ball to Savastano. And Decker. So if House is on the move. So is Clivert. Clivert's in. Clivert shoots. What a save by Brizot. Should be one nothing. You cannot waste chances like that against a good team. Here's Veghorst now. We're racing back. We just about get rid of it. Good clearing of our lines there. Roy Grock now on the ball, bowling it out. Does it go to Kemper? Will it go to Veltman? It goes to Kemper again. I don't know why it keeps going to Kemper. I'd give it to Veltman more often personally. Savistano. Kemper finds Van de Beek. Is there a move? It's Decker. There is a move now from Cliver. Has another chance to score. He's in. He shoots. He blazes it this time. Come on, son. Talk about a choker as Cliver has been in clear twice and missed Van der Beek's corner. Scrambled away now, picked up by backboard. Now here's a killing camp. Don't lose it, son. He loses it. That's the only one thing that he didn't. There's only one thing that he shouldn't do there. And there's a chance to whip this in. Backboard has won it. What a de bit of defending that is. Hits it long. It's your house, Van der Beek, giving away. I don't like this. This feels like a goal. Garcia now whipped in, spilled by the keeper, Veghorst, Bel Hassani, and I told you it felt like a goal. It is 1 0 to Azed Alkmar. And Clivert's misses come back to haunt us big time there. We should be one or two up already, and we're one down. Bel Hassani's corner now, dumped into the box, head away by Veltman. Come on, Sir House is after it. Get the equaliser, come on. This would this would kill them if we get the equaliser for half time. Van der Beek now. Good ball. A Kellen camp. Clivert this time. He's missed again. Unbelievable. That was the worst of the lot. He's got the whole right hand side of the goal to aim at, and he goes back across towards the keeper. Yeah, no prizes for guessing. He's coming off. Shane Unley can come on, but my God. Honestly, talk about bad luck. Show some passion, lads. Right, here we go. Savastano. Let's get the let's get up the pitch and get the equaliser. Nope, we've lost it. Reinstra, Garcia, poor touch. Backboard nicks it. Good defending from him today. Here's Nunley Clivert's replacement. There's a two-on-one in the middle. It's whipped in. It's a terrible terrible decision to cross it early he should have waited delight back to backboard that's a good ball there down for Nunley he's at the byline whip it in whips it in Van der Beek can't get there my god two great crossing opportunities wasted Van der Beek out wide there you go backboard does he have a better cross he does and Sir House equalises perfect start to the half he did a lot better crossing it there the wing back than uh, Nunnally did. It's a great ball and it's a great finish by our key man there, Sir House. And there is one apiece. Let's press on. Come on, Veltman. Back to the keeper. Out to Kemper. Taking his time. Sabastano available as always. Van der Beek over the top. Sir House on the move. Cushions it to Decker. Decker races in. Shoots across the keeper. Hits the bar. Oh. I thought that was just going to dip under there. The counter's on. Svensson, Belhassani's in acres of space. He's got Veghorst in the middle. Oh, and it's an absolute howler of a touch from Veghorst. 
what a game this is. Backboard now. Oh, and it's a sending off. Sternberg is going to walk here for Alkmaar. Garcia off for Opdam now. So they have to bring on another defender. It's thrown long for Bill Hassani, but Savistano can nick it back. Kemper now to Van der Beek. This should be one-way traffic for the rest of the day now. Should be. There we go. Kellen Camp. Decker over the top. None of these there. Can he score? Nope. It's off the post, off the keeper, and smuggled behind by the substitute up dam. And it is one way traffic now. Can we tell him to push forward? No. Savastano out wide, Van de Beek. Drill it, son. He's whipped it high. It's in the net, but it apparently was a hand of God by Hakel and Camp. Bill Hassani's ball in. Kemper away. They're still dangerous, even with the 10, mind. It's whipped in and it's finished. Van Eyden has scored for the 10 men of Alkmaar. Unbelievable. Van der Beek is off for Carl Eating and I'm going to bring on... I'm not going to bring on anybody up top. I'm going to bring on... Who do we bring on? We'll take Delight off for Zefoik because Delight has been poor today as well. I can't believe that we're not going to win this game. Never mind facing the prospect of losing the game. Nope, here we go. Chance. It was going to go overload here, but there's a chance. We're now against nine men. Right, let's overload this. Come on. If we lose to nine men, then my God, that's going to be brutal. Push forward. Come on, it's nine men we're playing. See if they score from this. Svensson, Dos Santos, Souza, Van Overeem. Short, Jesus Christ, the nine men creating the first chance. Right, this is unacceptable. Um, it's unacceptable, but I don't know what to do about it. Let's go Decker wide there. And we'll throw up. Who's the tallest? Feltman, 182. Zefoik is 185. And Kemper is 187, but Zefoik can jump better than Kemper. Zafoik is going to go up there as a target man and we're just going to launch it route one time this is a shambles how can we not even create a chance against nine men come on late equaliser please Zafoik's ball in head it away don't dare let them create a chance good challenge Veltman right come on Savistano 60 yard pass, Zefoik have the cross son, whips it in, Sir House, thank God for that. Right, push forward, try and nick it even later. What a cross for the big centre back actually there. And it doesn't look like we're going to nick the three points here. Header on, Nunnally cushions it down, Zefoik, we might, Decker, Sir House, ah, it's a poor, poor effort there, we should have, should have tried to work that in the box. I know time is, time is short, but you should have took a bit more time there. Listen, I'm going to tell them it was a good effort. They were down. Two men, of course, but at the end of the day, we were behind. We were away from home. They came into this game on two wins. They went ahead early on. We got a sell back and it stayed in the match, you know. And we were behind. We still have to remember with 15 minutes to go. We were behind with two minutes to go. So I'm okay with the fact that we drew that match. It keeps us within three points of the summit. So I'm okay with it. Now PSV Eindhoven against Heerenveen to finish the episode. Let's see the result of that one. Utrecht draw with Willem and Heerenveen have beaten PSV Eindhoven. Heerenveen move on to six points. Well, so far to start the season, we've got the 6-2 loss to Heerenveen. We've got 3-1 win over 20 and the 2-2 draw away at Alkmaar, which is not a bad result really, uh, if you look at it that way. So that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have done, please do drop down below and leave a like on the video. And of course, to follow the season and the development of these youngsters in the long term, you can subscribe to the channel, which I'd be eternally grateful for. But mostly I just want to thank you guys for watching this one. Two, two, two draws and uh, not actually bad result at all there. So I would have taken two draws before we played those games, to be fair. So absolutely take that. 
mostly though, uh, as I always say guys, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time when we're taking on Dynamo Kiev and then Den Haag in the Eredivisie.